How you doing? I'm Gerald Reynolds here in Portland, Oregon. Don't worry about the way I sound. It's, some people uh, make comments about my videos. I scare them. They have an old man who's crazy. Or, just, I have a lot of problems. I can't do I can't type very well. I have three of missing fingers and the ones I have, they're sore. Okay? Anyway, I wanted to talk about uh, Keith Overman and uh, Bill Maher, the interview Keith did with him. Uh, very good interview. I, I enjoy both of you guys. You're my two favorite uh, journalists, uh, uh, broadcasters, let's put it that way. You're both journalists, I'm sure. I, I understand that. I know Bill, you are. I really do. Great one, too, by the way. You really know how to get under the nail. Yeah, right under that little nail there. Get all that little dirt out of there. The real knowledge, the real truth. And I'm on your side. There was the man named Jesus. If there was, and those things that they say were true, you're right, he was a great philosopher. But the son of a god? There's magical gods out there that are creating and destroying and, and give a hoot about what we do every day. I'm with you, that's just hooey. And yes, Mother Teresa was a bit psychotic, I think. Because she believed so deeply that she married Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a little schizophrenic. I'm sorry to say, but it is, okay? Anybody who believes that deeply that there's some God out there that gave a son to die and get risen from the dead, then you marry the guy. And, and symbolically, even, you really believe that that's psychotic. So, yes, she was, and a lot of other people out there are. And I'll say it for you, Bill. Yeah, most Christians are not Christ like. No, they're not. They're the most judgmental people on earth. And you know that. The very first thing out of their mouth every time is, oh, you're hungry, I gotta feed you with God's love or some crap like that. Because they're the right to think that. Because they're the right to think you're hungry for that. I am not hungry to be psychotic. Trust me on that one. Yeah, I think there's other life out there. UFOs? No. They're identified because I know they're not from here. What's wrong with understanding there's other life out there, skin and bones, maybe more advanced than us and to visit it? Why is that so tough? Look how huge this universe is. Look at all the life right here. Did you know there's living bacteria on the inside of hydrothermal vents? Hundreds and hundreds of degrees of not even real water, it's mostly just toxic chemicals. Yeah, living there, just eating off it. See, life everywhere. And I wanted to say something to Keith about the Overman about the uh, the interview with the the thing with the, uh, Bill O'Reilly and the diatribe he gave about him and the Malmedy massacre. <laughs> that guy, you need to keep that up on him. Somebody needs to do something about that guy, especially with Fox. Fox actually giving an excuse for him, and he says it twice to the same general as if he knows about military history himself or something? What does he have a degree in? His bachelor degree? What is it in anyway, I wonder? He's from the city, Portland, Oregon, by the way. Yeah, we always thought he was creepy. I heard he's a registered Democrat, actually. Is that true? I wonder. Anyway, Keith, keep it up. Don't let him lie like that. Do not let him disrespect our shoulders, my grandfather and other people's fathers and grandfathers that I know. Don't let him disrespect them. Thanks a lot, you guys, for listening. And this is why I do video. I can't do anything else. Timing is too dang tough. <laughs> and I want you to see me say it. I like to get, I want my, I'd rather you were right in front of me, both of you. If you got a chance, come to Portland, Oregon, I'll put you up and I'll give you something to do. <laughs> Bye. Good night, everybody from Portland. Sign off.